Hello everyone. Let's continue our lesson, Mathematics Year 1, with the subtopic, Measure and Compare the Length of Objects, Part 1. You're going to do this lesson with me, your teacher, and my name is Amira. Hello and welcome to all of you. I hope all of you are in the pink of health. Are you ready? Please be ready. Set up your study space. Prepare your mathematics activity book and turn to page 47 and 48 of your book. Hurry up! Turn to page 47 and 48 of your mathematics activity book part 2. For today, you will learn to measure length of objects. You're going to measure length of objects. Now, let's begin by doing the measuring. Look at here, what we have here. We have a box. A box. Now, we have pins. We have safety pins. Hmm, how can we measure the length of the box? How can we measure the length of the box? We can measure the length of the box using the safety pin. We can measure the length of the box using the safety pin. We arrange the safety pin as I show you in the picture here. Now we have one, two, three and four. Four pins. So the length of the box is equal to four pins. The length of the box is equal to four pins. Now look here. What we have here? We have a book. A book. Now we have erasers. Erasers. So we want to measure the width of the book. We want to measure the width of the book. We can measure the width of the book using the erasers. We can arrange the erasers. Just like what I show you in this picture now. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 erasers. So, the width of the book is 5 erasers. Next, look here. Hmm, what we have here? We have a table. A table. Now we have box. Box. Now we want to measure the height of the table. We want to measure the height of the table. We can measure the height of the table using box. We can arrange the boxes just like what I show you here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five boxes. The height of the table is equal to five boxes. The height of the table is equal to five boxes. Now, let's do the measuring using our body parts. We're going to do the measuring using our body parts. Hmm, how is it going to look like? Let's have a look. First, we can do the measuring using arm span. 
Say with me, um, span. Next, we can also do the measuring using hand span. Say with me, hand span. Well done. Then, we can also do the measuring using step. Step. Example. I'm going to show you the example in a moment. Let's say we want to measure the length of a board. We want to measure the length of a board. What do you think? What is the fastest way for us to get the measurement of length of the board? To measure the length of the board, we can use arm span. We can use arm span to measure the length of the board. So, the length of the board is equal to two arm span, two arm span. Alright, that's all for today. For your main task, ready with your book, ready with your pencil, please circle page 47 and 48 of your Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. You need to complete page 47 and 48 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This is your main task. Please submit this task before 5 p.m. today. For your additional task, ready with your pencil? Please circle page 44 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. You need to complete page 44 of Mathematics Activity Book Part 2. This task can be submitted after 5 p.m. This task can be submitted after 5 p.m. This is your additional task. Alright, thank you for listening. Oh, don't forget, please refer to your Google Classroom to see further information. Bye, see you next time.